What is up guys, back here on another video, and for today's video, I'm going to be ranking the characters from this update from worst to best. Now let's get on with the video. So starting off with the worst, we have a Kainu, and even though this is the worst out of the three, he's actually not bad at all, except there are a few problems. Missing that could get you punished, and it's not that easy to aim. Plume. It can be weird to move with it. And level pool is actually really good. It guard breaks and you can hit your opponent twice. Just like that. And his awakening. There's a problem with his awakening. Giant erupt. It doesn't knock back. And it's not a combo extender. Which kind of sucks, because your opponent can just tank the hit, and then start punishing you. Magma Fist. This move is good. Because, you throw projectiles at your opponent, and it leaves a pool of magma. Magma Pillar. This one is, up. This one is an upgrade to the first move. Um... Plume Punch. It's basically Lava Plume with a bigger hitbox. And that is why this character is not as good as the other ones. So, time for the next one. So, for the next spot, we have Kazaru. And Kazaru is really good because Yatsumir. You have to turn around to be able to block it. Finger laser. The chip damage on it is really good and it has a short cooldown. It does 50, 15 damage, not 50. Light speed kick. This is a flaw because... Yeah, it guard breaks your opponent, but it flings them so you won't be able to punish them at all. Kick combo. It's a really good auto combo that guard breaks. And here's a flaw. You can cancel Yatsa Mirror. But that isn't really that bad. So let's go to his awakening now. Heaven's Sword. It's a really good combo extender move. Heavy kick. Light speed kick in base with more damage. Yatsa Mirror. Literally the same thing with more damage. This is like Gohan's um, Key Blast Barrage. Except it's much better, so... Kizaru is just a better Gohan. Like, as long as you have Kizaru, what's the point of buying Gohan? So, yeah. That's the reason why Kizaru is on second spot. And for the people that are gonna say, Oh, Kizaru is better than Lancer. I'm about to explain why he is not. So for the last spot, we have Lancer. And his guard break is Vault. It's Yoruichi's down smash. It's a really good combo extender. And it's a good guard break. And this is the reason why Lancer is broken. He can combo extend right after knocking you back. Flourish. Blink Thrust. Yeah, Lunge doesn't knock back, so he'll just continue beating you up. So, that is overpowered. Now for his Awakening. Soaring Strikes. You know, pretty decent move. Lunge. Base Lunge with more damage. And this is the reason why he is stronger than Kizaru. Just gotta... get to where I have, like, no HP. Yep. His gut's passive. He has a huge speed boost, and his damage increases. His M1 damage increases to... 
5.4 instead of 4.1. Soaring Strikes, 0 0.9 each hit instead of 0 0.7. Lunge does way more damage. So that's basically the reason why he's better than Lancer. Also, his one shot, Gay Bulg. It one shots whether you're blocking or not, and it's completely off. That is strong. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, guys. See you next time. So that's got to do it for today's video, guys. If you disagree with me, please tell me why you do in the comment section. See you next time.